In this lesson, you will learn how to look at a graph and determine whether or not it shows a proportional relationship. A proportional relationship is one that has the same proportion between every ordered pair. And what that means is if you take the ratio of x to y between any points, you will find the same ratio across the entire line. Let's, let me give you an example, okay? So imagine that you're selling brownies for $1.50. Each brownie costs $1.50. If you sell no brownies, and in this case we're going to say the number of brownies is going to be the x-coordinate and the amount of money you make is the y-coordinate. So if you sell no brownies, you make no money. Now this brings me to another important point about proportional relationships. When graphed, a proportional relationship will always pass through the point 0, 0. Remember that. That's really important. It's going to help you out a lot. So we have the point 0, 0. Now what happens when you sell one brownie? When you sell one brownie, you have x equals 1 and you make $1.50, so y equals 1.5. What happens when you sell two brownies? You sell two brownies, x equals 2, and y equals 3. You made $3. So take the ratio of x to y for both of these ordered pairs. So the ratio of x to y here is 1 to 1.5, and the ratio of x to y here is 2 to 3. Now, even though these might seem different, 2 to 3 simplifies to 1 to 1.5 when you divide both sides of the ratio by 2. Now look here, 1, 1 to 1.5 and 1 to 1.5. So the ratio of x to y with both ordered pairs is the same, and this relationship passes through the point 0, 0, so it's proportional. Now let's look at the problem above. Write the uh, which of the following graphs shows a proportional relationship? Now remember, proportional relationships must pass through the origin 0, 0, and they must be straight lines. So let's look at the first example. Here's the origin, and this is a straight line, but the line doesn't pass through the origin. It's above it. So no, this is not a proportional relationship. Let's look at the next example. You have a straight line, and it does pass through the point 0, 0. So yes, this is proportional. And lastly, here you have a curve or a parabola, and it is going through the point zero, 0, but this is not a line or a straight line, so no, this is not a proportional relationship. Now let's try another problem together. Compare the two proportions. Which is greater? So in the first scenario here, we have Kay, and she's buying soda for a party. The store sells two different packs. You can either have six cans for $4, or you can buy 12 cans for $8. Let's find the proportion here first. And you can write the different pack options as ordered pairs. So think about it this way. The number of cans will be x, and the amount of money you spend is y. So 6 cans for $4. And if you take the ratio of x to y here, you get 6 to 4. Or you can have 12 cans for $8. And the proportional relationship here, or the ratio, is 12 to 8. Now, although the ratios look different, you can simplify each. And 6 to 4 simplifies to 3 to 2. And 12 to 8 also simplifies to 3 to 2. So this is our ratio of x to y. When you graph a proportional relationship, the ratio is represented by the slope. But be careful when you go to take this ratio and turn it into a slope. Remember that a slope is the ratio of the difference of y to x. Let me show you that. So as I said, slope is the ratio of the difference in y over the difference in x. In these ratios, you're doing x to y. So the slope isn't going to be 3 over 2. Rather, you're going to have to reverse this. And you can, since we've written this as an ordered pair, you can do the work yourself. If you take the difference in y, which is 8 minus 4, and put this over the difference in the x values, which is 12 minus 6, you get 4 over 6, or, simplified further, 2 over 3. So the slope is 2 thirds, and this is the same thing you get if you were to have just switched this around and taken the ratio of y to x, which is 2 to 3. So now you know the proportional relationship for K buying the soda. It's two-thirds. Now let's look at Jacqueline. And in this case, Jacqueline is selling care packages, and she makes care packages of all sizes. 
she's done you a service by graphing the ratio, so she's already graphed it for you, and this is a ratio of toys to candy bars. So on the y-axis you see toys, and on the x-axis you see candy bars. Again, the proportion is the slope of the line when the relationship is graphed. So to find the slope of the line, take any two points. So here's one point, and we're going to use the point um, 1, 2. And another point that falls on this line is right here. So we have the point 3, 6. Now let's use the slope formula. If you take the difference in the y values, 6 minus 2, over the difference in the x values, 3 minus 1, you're going to get 4 over 2, which simplifies to 2. Now compare. K's proportion is 2. Oh, I'm sorry, Jacqueline's proportion is 2. K's proportion is 2 thirds, which is greater. 2 is greater than 2 thirds. 2 thirds is just a fraction, and 2 is a whole number. So now you know that Jacqueline's proportion is greater. She sells 2 or gives 2 toys for every 1 candy bar in her packages. In this lesson, you've learned how to identify proportional relationships. Thanks for watching.